All right, now we're going to lay out for a barge rafter. Okay, barge rafter is that decorative board structurally as well that supports your overhang up here on the end. This cut, I can't emphasize enough, has to be beautiful. Okay, you can't get sloppy. Okay, pick it also, it's your exposed board, your finished material, your finished trim. So picking a good quality product. Should be uh, spruce pine fir, if it's gonna be painted, okay? Or should be cedar, or redwood, or something that's rock resistant, like one of those materials. What we're gonna use for class is uh, two by six. So, from our stack, pick a good looking two by six, okay? For my example, I'm gonna use a seven inch pitch, okay? Just like your comments, I'm gonna start out on here on the end and it looks good, pretty good board. Other than it's twisted, I wouldn't normally use this out in the field, okay? But for sake of class is what we're gonna use. Lay out here on the end, seven inch pitch, common, seven. Nice clean cut. Okay, that's my theoretical and it's also my cut line for a bar trap. okay? For when it comes to the dimension, what do we use for our run, for our uh, length of our bar drop? The run plus the overhang. So we have a run of four foot, an overhang of 12 inches, so a five foot run. Okay, five foot run, seven inch pitch, Diagonal, okay. Five foot nine and seven sixteenths. Five foot nine, seven sixteenths. See that mark right there. That's all the way down where your tail's gonna be. So in this case, I'm gonna make this the right side. It's gonna be a little bit different for the left side. Okay. This will be this outer, outer edge most. Which that is gonna be a part of a miter. So in this case, I got a seven inch pitch. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna roll it on its side. I'm gonna make a mark over on this side. And then I'm gonna do a 45 up here on top. So it's going to be part of a miter. I'm going to come over to this side here, which is the inside. I'm going to plumb that down. The seven inch pitch. Right there. This would be the outside of your fascia. I need to mark the inside of the fascia. Material that we're gonna use is 5 8 thick. Normally it's gonna be an inch and a half. Okay. Or you're gonna have a sub fascia and then that 5 8 material, one or the other. Okay. So I'm gonna have to come back towards the peak 5 8 of an inch. This is what everybody will have to do. 5 8 of an inch. Coming up. Got a seven inch pitch. And this is where it gets a little bit different. This line gets squared over. Right there. A miter and square. So for this miter, your skill saw, you're gonna have to put it at a 45 and set the depth so you don't cut all the way through. Okay. Something else, this point here is your lowest point. You're gonna come down, mark three and a half inches, because that's the height, the, the thickness of our fascia, or whatever fascia it would be. But it's three and a half. And I'm gonna square it over. Like that. 
So this will be the bottom, nice clean cut at the bottom of the fascia right there. Okay. Also, your fascia where it comes together is at a miter. So your fascia on the bottom will also have a miter to receive this joint pain. Does that make sense? Questions on it?